what's going on welcome to my channel my beautiful people i am back with another jewelry jar this particular day i purchased this jewelry jar from the salvation army and all of their jewelry was 10 percent off that day they did not give me my 10 percent off of this jewelry jar and the reason i found out is because I went back later that evening and purchased this one only for her to tell me that all the jewelry jars were or all the jewelry that particular day was 10% off. So what she did is, because this one was 30, she rounded off the 10% off of the one that was 25, took $3 off of this one, took it down to 27 and then she took the 10% off. So we're going to start off with the smaller one, but I want to show you kind of, and let me test something really quick. Okay, so we're going to start off with the smaller one. Just kind of want to show you what I saw in here. I'm going to show you a little um, picture as well because there were like 12 jars to choose from that day. And they all range from 20 up to 30. I was kind of interested in these. There's another one somewhere in there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know what I found. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I'm going to start off with what I absolutely found that I love. And it's not too many pieces that I actually found that I really love. But look at this. This is a little angel. I don't know if you can see this little red stone. It's on a pen. So I put it on this little piece of paper so you can see it a little better. How gorgeous is this? Yes. I'm going to incorporate this either on one of my purses or I'm going to just wear it on my person. I just think this is so pretty. An angel with a halo. Next up that I found that I actually like is this necklace right here. It's very, it's kind of long too. So this is how long it is. It has the hearts and the, I guess, faux pearls. And I think this just said Japan on it. Korea. It just says Korea. Okay, so anything that I show, um, especially if I say that I'm a listed, Please chime in. If y'all know any information about the stuff that I'm showing, I'm new to purchasing jewelry jars, but I've been purchasing like vintage jewelry for years just for myself. But to get jewelry that's in jars and like what should I sell it for? Should I lot it? Should I sell it individually? I should sell this for that price. Please chime in. But this one right here, like I said, I'm keeping. And I thought this was really pretty. This is a Jessica Simpson necklace. I think I'm going to put this, I don't know, it's not even, you see that? This is what this one looks like. Has the JS and a little stone. I know I don't want this one, so I don't know. Um, okay, look, what is these bracelets called that actually looks like a nail and it's kind of bent over for you to wear? That's what I thought this was. I mean, it's kind of, I guess, a cheaper version of it. This is what this looks like. There's no markings on them and they're silver. Let me show you how they... They have bend to it, like you could actually bend these. Very, very lightweight. So it's two of those in there. I plan on keeping those. Um, let's start off with the bracelets, because it's a lot of bracelets. This one. I might keep this one. These right here are very small. 
I might give this to my daughters, goddaughters. Um, I said I was like gonna save up all the little jewelry for them. I might give her this because it's very small. No markings. This is so bendable, y'all. This is what this one looks like. I'm gonna probably trash this one. I'll put it in for scrap jewelry. Let me show you the little stragglers. It wasn't that many of them. I'm gonna definitely give this to the little one. It's like a little bitty ring someone made with a well on it. So that would be one of her pieces. Here's another little straggler. Probably put this in some junk jewelry. I think I'm gonna make up one of those little jars or bags. This is probably gonna be junk jewelry because you see it's tarnished. Um, okay, like, let me show you this. This actually has a marking on it. JS. I don't think this is Jessica Simpson because these are like screwbacks. So if anyone knows like what is an old jewelry maker from probably this era of a screwback earring, JS, please let me know. So the pearl is missing from this one. But what I think I'm going to do is there was another straggler, which is this one that has a pearl. I'm going to see if that pearl right there, the faux pearl, I'm, I'm assuming, will fit in there. And this is also a clip-on. And then these, if I can fix them, I will keep those because my ears are not pierced. Oh, I was so wishing that this little straggler was in there because I was going to get this to the girls. No markings on it. Another little clip-on earring, no match. Let me see if y'all saw that. Okay. I was hoping this one was in there as well. This also has some markings on it. It's another clip-on. This would have been right up my alley. Um, this has... It looks to be like JJ G. Yeah, JJ G. If anybody know who that jeweler is for this clip on. Another little straggler. Screw back. Um, here's another little straggler. I was hoping this one was in there because that little pearl or whatever it is in the middle it has a different feel to it. Another little junk jewelry. This right here, you guys, has 12K on it. And then it also has some other writing. Let's see if I can. So I was actually about to start studying carrots. Um, what I did learn is that the carrots go from 1 carat to 24 carat. And it depends on how much of the gold is in it. So I don't know if it's just the screw that has the carrot in it. I don't know. I'm going to look that up. Okay. So here's a little keychain. Definitely going to get to the little one. Little monkey. Brand new. There's a pair of earrings that was a match that was in there. Probably sell those. These, I'm probably going to toss them. Some hoops that's really rusty. Okay. Chain, scraggler, garbage. This will probably go back to the thrift store. Little bracelet someone made. Okay, so let's get into, again, like I said, the bracelets. This is BCBG Generations has the word true on it rose gold I can actually fit this but I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell it and it has the two clamps right here on the back now that's my daughter wants it I doubt if she wants this this bracelet has this different type of closure but it's actually broke it doesn't stay closed Looks like it's missing something, but that's what that looks like. 
probably put that in like a scrap for someone thought this was really cute these are like some really heavy glass um, beads on this bracelet Um, now I know my daughter I like this one. This is pretty. This was cute. It was in there. That mint green. I have a necklace from Walmart that actually goes with this. What I might do is actually take that necklace and put it with this and sell it as a set. Um, okay, this bracelet says Love Nursing. And someone made that. There's a closure right here. This right here, my daughter's birthday is coming up, and I am going to give this to her. And it is going to mean a lot to her. Look at this right here. It says special granddaughter love. I thought this was so pretty. And her favorite color is pink. And I don't know if you can see the stone right here that is pink. Yeah. It's an older necklace. It has a funny feel to it, though. So I don't know if those are real pearls or not, but it has that old closure. Um, one of you ladies let me know that this was a vintage closure, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was with that purple necklace from the last haul that I did. Here is some more bracelets. Stretchy bracelet with a heart. Probably get this to the um, the girls as well. I thought that was cute. Here is another little bracelet. I'll say for the little ones because it's like a very small gold tone bracelet, no markings. Here's another bracelet, kind of. This actually kind of feels like, I don't know. I want to say silver, but I'm not sure. It doesn't have any markings on it. The closures is very small as well. I almost thought this could have been like a Tiffany bracelet. Um, okay, give me one second. Okay. Another bracelet, I mean, another necklace. It almost look like it could be a bracelet, but another necklace that's very small. It was a lot of brooches that was in this um, jewelry jar. If I was into brooches, there is one that I would wear. If anyone knows anything about this, there's no markings. Butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Matches that picture that I have back there again. Beautiful colors. No markings. This one is an M. No markings. I was hoping I saw something K on there. <laughs> um, oh, okay, look. Look at this. It has on here. Nineteen twenty eight, which is a maker of jewelry. And this is a butterfly necklace. Show you it on here. And that's what this looks like. And there's the back. Has a screw back as well. These actually feel like something. 
These are some, these feel like some pearls to me. And I don't know anything about pearls, but they're very heavy. Um, it actually says Japan, Japan on the back of it. It has an old closure. I want to call it a turtle closure. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but look at that. And again, they're very heavy. So I'm going to have to study about how can you tell, you know, pearls or whatever, if they're real. Because these does not feel like plastic at all. It has some very heavy weight to it. And again, I want to show you this closure. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Here's some necklaces. I call these Mardi Gras beads. Tangled. Okay. So these gold ones, they were trying to sell this for $6.99. So these are those, which is gold. Getting that little hang tag is the, what they had them priced at. They look like disco balls. Another little necklace that was on there. This is some type of stone. This look like like Olaf to me. Like somebody was trying to create an Olaf necklace. So somebody was trying to be creative. Has a screw back to it. Here is another older necklace. Put it on here. It's a peach color one. And this isn't even worth putting on the Yeah, this is just some old plastic beads. This necklace right here. Hmm. And there's another older necklace that says Japan. And it has these beads have a funny feel to it. So here's the closure. And this is the necklace. I thought somebody would like this. Here's some little earrings, and I'm gonna get to the little ones. A little seashell, a bow. I wish this little hoop was here, but it's not. Hair clip. I'm definitely gonna keep this for myself. Oh, it's not a hair clip, it's a Barbie pin. I'm sorry. Here is. Something I could turn into a ring. It's broke on the back. And oh my god, wait a minute. You know what? I think I just found a match to an earring that I said I wish had a match. I look at that. Yep, I sure did. Okay, I'm super excited about those because I told you guys something about these pearls or these stones. Yeah, I'm 
Okay, cool. I'm happy that this was in there. This goes to a purse, and I had some purses that actually needed a chain. So I'm very happy about this one. This actually feels like glass. I think this is broke though. Some glass beads. Remind me of those little bows that you put in your hair when you were with, that you had in your hair when you were younger. That was plastic. This was in there. It's actually a locket of some sort. Octopus on it. The opening for it and doesn't have any connecting part for the chain to go to I had a message come up sorry and then last but not least there are a couple of watches this is a Dolce Gabbana watch what I'm learning about watches is that watches are like shoe sizes because um, people take the links out and everything. These are for very, someone with a very, very small wrist. 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 Because <laughs> I took the link out of it. And I don't know if this is a real Dolce & Gabbana, but it says it's on the back of the watch as well. See that DNG. Here is a fossil watch that they also took the links out of and it's for a very very small wrist and last but not least is this watch right here made by Viviana V-I-V-A-N-I Quartz watch and they took the link out of this one as well Okay, I have two little two things to show you. This little screw back earring that was in there, and this bracelet, which is so pretty. So it's missing some stones. There is a marking on here. It seems like it says C O R A Cora. I'm not sure. Um. Just the way this was screwed right here made me wonder something. And the marking is right in here. So if you could see that. So I was wondering about this piece. Oops, upside down. Any of you guys know what this could possibly be? Again, it's no markings as far as 14 karat or anything like that. But it is the marking that has a name. And I thought this was so pretty. Even with the stones missing from it. The message. Okay. So that is it you guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and open up the other jewelry jar. Try to post that one. Um, in the next couple of days. Because I'm going to have to sit here and go through. What the items are. If you have any information on anything I showed you especially this please let me know um, I'm even curious about this one because those seem like something to me and until next time you guys stay blessed and stay safe I'm always forgetting something here's something else that was in there just another little earring I mean earring bracelet Okay, I'm always forgetting something. It's another little bracelet that was in there. Another little thing I told you guys that I was going to try to put on some flip-flops one day. That was in there. No opening for it. And then these seashells. Oh, I do not like necklaces like this, but these seashells. I might do a lot with this, with the um, the necklaces that people wear from beach jewelry. I call it like surfers and stuff wear. 
And that is it.